There's a temple in Chunwan that's been on my bucket list for a while, so today we're going to explore that area and then also check out that temple.
Dream of something. the right colors for the Western Monastery.
busy night because it's Friday today but we are now on our way to Temple Street to try some street food It's a little ironic that we're promoting neon signs but we are also taking down a lot of them Nobody asked, but this is my collection of perfumes that I wear every day on rotation. So I thought I'd share with you some of my favorites and why I have them. 
So from the left to the right, the first one, I got it in Seoul from a store called Nonfiction. I think it's pronounced Gaik or Gaik, but it's a very sweet floral scent. A bit feminine side for me, but on hot summer days, I use this a lot. The next two are from the Labo. The first one's called, called the Gaik 10, also sold only in Tokyo. It has more of a wooden scent and a very unique flavor to the fragrance. This one is called Another. It's my go-to everyday scent, more of an apple-y and citrusy scent. As you can see, I use it pretty much a lot, so I only have this much left. Next one here is from Tambourines. It's a brand from Korea that we got also with the same one as Nonfiction. This scent has a very smoky wood scent to it, and it's very unique. I don't use it as much as I do for the other ones, but I do have it in my collection as well. This one is from Joe Malone. It's called the Cypress and Grapevine. It also says the word cologne intense. It's quite an intense fragrance. I don't use this one at all because I just like the bottle and I got it as a gift. This one's from Aesop. It's called Hwyl, H-W-Y-L. This one I love a lot because my first scent I ever got since I started using perfumes and it has a ancient Japanese forest smell to it. It's a very nice, unique fragrance. The last scent here is from Malin and Goetz. It's called Leather. It has a sandalwood fragrance to it, so usually I use it in the winter time. This is actually a birthday gift a few years back uh, from Sam. As a gag birthday gift, she surprised me with this first to hide my main birthday gift, which is my coffee machine that I have now. festive flowers for our Chinese New Year dinner tonight. So we asked Koei from Mess Studio to create us a few centerpieces. She suggested to add these bows on the pussy willows and I think it turned out great.